This is, of course, the 2019 Honda Ridgeline. It's a truck that's unlike any other truck on the market. It can carry a payload of up to 1,580 pounds, and it can tow up to 5,000 pounds. That's more load capability than even a Chevrolet Colorado. But where every other truck is built with old-school body-on-frame technology, the Honda Ridgeline has a unibody frame. That means it has comfort in handling very much like a car, while still maintaining all the capability a truck owner needs. Or does it? I'm at the 2018 Northwest Automotive Press Association's Outdoor Activity Vehicle of the Year Test Day at the Ridge Motorsport Park in Shelton, Washington. With me is Davis Adams from Honda to help me get the most out of this 2019 Ridgeline. We start with the torque vectoring all-wheel drive system. So now what I want you to do is, is give it all the beans and I want you to toss the wheel side to side. What you're going to feel is the, obviously the weight of the vehicle is going to shift left and right. Okay. The vehicle, so the back end is going to step out. As that happens, of, of course, give it more gas, not brake. Right. And as you give it more gas, you're going to feel the power go to the outside wheel and straighten it back up. This is not brake vectoring. This is true torque vectoring where it sends power to the outside. Um, to, to readjust, of course, the vehicle. Which this, is, um, it's because it has super handling all-wheel drive, that overly complicated system that Honda developed years ago, and it's still one of the best systems, right? Ab absolutely, it's something we pat uh, that we patented on our own, so it's, it's really, really cool. It does, um, it's amazing for inclement weather. Can I tell you that I, I actually watched the 15-minute corporate explainer video on how SH all-wheel drive worked. Your wheels is controlled within a range from zero to 100. Throttle is opened up during high-speed turns. Under these conditions, SH8. It was amazing. It was, <laughs> they said so much by the end of it. I'm like, I, I now know nothing because I it, too much had been crammed into my head. Okay, so I'm basically just going to skidoodle light Do along it. here, okay? Great. And full throttle. And keeping there the throttle in. Yeah, so see how, like, how flat this continues to handle as we go through. Yeah, that's it's, brilliant. That's so much better than my 1992 rally car. Well, crazy. I know, right? <laughs> yeah. So we're in sand mode right now. I did that uh, because we uh, we were on loose terrain with the gravel. It's about right. as close as it gets. Right. I'm going to move us to mud mode. Now, that's really easy with the intelligent traction management system. You just push a button, and we're switching to mud mode right now. Let's swing okay. wide here. And unlike some of the older design trucks, you don't need to uh, stop and put it in neutral to do any changes to the all-wheel drive that's system. Right. That's right. It's just an easy system. It's always operating. The vehicle's always kind of working and thinking to, uh, to, you know, to put you, give you the best traction wherever you need it. Right. Now, so this part of the course is really tight. Now, trucks sometimes have trouble through this. You've been going on this course all day. Have we had any issues with uh, no, this? No, I'd say swing wide, then cut hard, and you, okay. uh, you should not need to, to back up or anything like that. I've okay. seen some other trucks do it, but no, we can just turn. Nice. <laughs> yes, it's nice. Um, it's one of those benefits of having a, um, a unibody design. Okay, yeah. we're going to go out onto the extreme course. Extreme. So extreme. Now, comment to YouTubers. You could not drive your Camry on this course. And the reason your approach and departure vectors are wrong for that car. You could go through it. You will not have bumpers it's or an true. underside. That's right. <laughs> so we want to put the, uh, the right wheel up here on this uh, higher point. Yeah. yeah that's Don't want to get easy. stuck in the ruts. Well, yeah. And we just, you know, we're kind of a long wheelbase at this point. So we might yeah, need to work that wheelbase. clearance best we can. That's right. Off-road and going slow. Now, uh, quick question here uh, about the vehicle. Should I put my foot on the brake as I go over the the? You should. Yeah, you, the crest. you are the descent okay. system in this, in this vehicle. Perfect. Yeah, we don't have descent control. Just wanted to make sure. We're driving a lot of cars back to back to back. And yep. like some like some of the, like, even the Hyundais, you just, it just does it. And there we go. Great. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Yeah, this is my favorite Honda that we built. Yeah, um, I, I geek for it a little bit. I like that it's um, such an it's an, a very unconventional approach to a segment. You know, mm -hmm. it's, it's not like a how can we build the same thing other people have. It was a how can we truly meet the needs of people who uh, haven't haven't you know or they need a vehicle, they need a truck. Right. Um, they're not going to use it every single day as a full-on truck. But they don't want to compromise on the basics. Well, they don't want to, right. It needs to be able to do things trucks can do, yeah. but they don't want to lose out on ride comfort and right. daily drivability back and forth to work. I mean, because like the Subaru Baja was a truck based on a unibody that was out for several years, yeah. but the problem was it didn't work very well as a truck other than 
going to like the flower shop. Right. And so the thing is we, you, you can tow 5,000 pounds with this. Mm-hmm. You can, um, you also, we have highest in class payload as well. Um, we got a bit of a dip there. We're just going to kind of go a little off axis. Yeah, a little, real slowly. I mean, I did this in the EcoSport or Echo Sport okay. as they call it, so it should be no problem. Yeah. So next we're going to do the logs. The logs. Let's do the logs. Now, the logs are interesting because they're moist, they're wet, they really challenge the all wheel drive system, but of course, clearance is also a potential issue. The logs are a unique challenge. The combination of mud and slippery wood really lets the vehicles put their all wheel drive systems and clearance capabilities to the test. Just slam through it, just throw mud everywhere. I want to see how much you can get on the sunroof. Oh, okay, okay, okay. That the challenge is on now. This is, this is, we're gonna have to uh, set this up. And make sure the course is clear, we're in the right mode. Uh, what mode are we in? We're in, we're in mud mode. Mud so mode, perfect. Here. Look, mud. There we go. Through the mud. Yes. If you thought that independent suspension and torque vectoring all-wheel drive could also provide extreme capability, the Ridgeline proved you wrong. You win. Thank you. You win. High five. That so, was great. <laughs> the entire sunroof. <laughs> darkness in the car again. You know, like, it's like nighttime with the new sunroof. I'm Ryan Douthit. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe right here for more videos. Also, download our free apps for Apple TV and Roku devices.